Hey guys, this is the Gaming Corner. Uh, this is SaxCat20 and... Hey, Her21. Today we're playing MTV's Remote Control. Yay! Alright, none of you are going to know what this is, so that's okay. So this is out before MTV stopped playing music videos and started playing crap. We should make you a woman. No. You can be the weird looking guy. Okay. Ah. I know that. I'm going to be the awesome guy because I'm awesome. Okay. Welcome to Remote Control. Let's see our contestants. Er, er, I look like an idiot. Uh, Freddy, you're in control. Choose a category. Well, my name's not Freddy, but I'll choose a category. <laughs> On the TV series of the same name, what do the letters SCTV stand for? Wild guess. <laughs> but since I have the awesome 80 shades, I'm winning. And we're going to choose a new category. Bald guys. These are people who are shining examples in their fields. If the light catches their blah, blah, blah. He tells funny jokes. Big bones and balding actor Vic Tabak played short order cooked meals. Oh, you got it. Alice. Yeah. Was that the, like a, was that a spinoff of the Brady Bunch? I, I don't remember. I don't know. I remember watching that. You're in control. She was a category. Let's go with number six. Going with six. Mash. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Nurse Debbie Clark became passionately involved with what cigar-smoking, hog-nosed, corporal, Harry Knuckles. I know that. How'd you get it? And you didn't even get it right. <laughs> it's Clinger. Oh, well. <laughs> There's one handy myself down you got there, thur. Freddy over there is like, Ugh, or whoever the third guy is, he's kind of like, Ugh, dude. I'm going to go back. I should have stayed off MASH. SNL. Uh, oh, gosh, 80s SNL. Isn't that special as the catchphrase of what Saturday Night Live character? Uh, how do you, you always get it? Isn't that special? That's no fair. I'm sitting here pressing the button. It's probably not picking up both at the same time, so... Whoever presses it first is going to win, doing it on this. That's going to suck. Hopefully you're done. Oh, another Saturday Night Live? You look marvelous. Yeah, you're cheating. Oh. You're still cheating. See? And you're still going to get it every time. Uh, Way to go. You didn't. Are you, I don't think I'm even going to get a chance since you're doing it before it even starts, so it's going to X out anything I do. Uh, hilarious. How'd you get it again? John Lennon, but it didn't let me do anything. Right. Well, I guess it was Elvis, so I'd have been right. Well, Freddy's or the third guy's still the doofus. Well, go Anthony, since you got it, and no, no. and you got to always get it for some reason. Oh gosh. Oop! I know this one. George Reeve. He killed himself, if you didn't know that. Yeah, I did. Wow, this is thrilling. Still more prime talk. It's a game show game. What do you expect? Name the last you played Holly Scorpio at General Hospital and Balladon Dynasty. Uh... 
uh, uh, guess? No. <laughs> I like the face I had there. Total guess. <laughs> Should have let, let you go first. Since we didn't know. Go back to MASH! <laughs> I guess we're doing this one again. When daylight comes and she want to go home, Harry Delfonte's daughter, Sherry, leaves her job at what hotel? Let's take a guess. I have no idea. Wow, two lucky guesses in a row there, butthole. Oh, now you're up by 15. You're welcome. It's something that's not been done. That's what I'm doing. Here you did awesome show. Jello pudding. How did the heck did you get that? I like how I press the button and you always go first. Sorry. Not my fault. I'm just pressing the button 400 times. Oh dear God! See, I didn't even press the button just because I knew it was going to be pointless. I have no idea. It was the mosquitoes. Well, I'm so glad that I'm learning stuff. Is he going to pick this? I was going to say, is he going to pick the wrong one after the other ones were picked? Hey, look, he's got points. Oh, he's in... He picked Gilligan's Island again. I guess he must know something about that. Hey, Gilligan, did you eat the skipper? <laughs> I'd go with Gilligan. Uh, it didn't let me I press the buttons and it didn't do anything. It's Mary Ann. See, I had it picked and it wouldn't let me do anything. I was sitting there going, pressing the button and it didn't do a single thing. Wow, I'm about to go into third. Did he pick... Oh God, pick something new, you computer idiot. Which not ready for prime time player was famous for doing impressions of... I knew it couldn't be Randy Quaid. He's white. Yeah. <laughs> that would have made sense. I get to pick. Catching up, Holmes. Oh boy. Uh oh. Snack break time. <laughs> ah! Wow. What's happening? Well, now that my brain is completely fried from stupidity. Oh wow, we went to commercial break. Okay. Everything's doubled. I'm in charge of the board. Look, my, my glasses are red here. Apparently we're doing the cartoon channel. Mmm, <laughs> cheddars. On the Rocky and Bullwinkle show, who was the shadowy villain that Boris and even fearless leader feared? Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed. Wilbur, don't send me to the glue factory. <laughs> nice answer and nice hair. They sure spent a lot of time making this game. <sighs> Oops. Oh, well, we're doing the cartoon Good channel again. A batch of kids named Michael, Marlon, Jackie, Tito, and... Okay. Hmm. I'm not even going to get it now. The Jackson Five! I thought it was the Osmonds. You thought it was the Osmonds? Yeah. Donnie, uh, Donnie Osmond. You know, I mean, he's cop shows. Is it Bad Adam 12? Bad Is it Adam 12? That wasn't even out yet when this came on, I don't think. Maybe it, it may have just started. 
On what cup show did the guy who played Captain Kirk be... Okay, I know this one. Jake and the Fat Man. Actually, it's T.J. Hooker. Yeah. <laughs> T.J. Okay. Hooker. I was going to guess Airwolf. Airwolf was weird. Yes, it was, but I liked it. Remember the game? We won't play that game. I can't even figure out how to make it work. Dude, the Bob Channel. Is it Bob Newhart? <laughs> so he's kind of having seizures over there now. <laughs> David Letterman has a pet named Bob. What kind of animal is it? Uh, I'll guess. I'm so proud of you. You're welcome. <laughs> this music is really old. The same thing over and over and over. It's the same thing over. Channel number five. Is that like Mambo number five? Or Chanel number five? Yeah, models turned actors. Yeah, ha ha ha. That was a funny joke. What gap tooth beauty ah! opposite Burt Reynolds and Malone and Gator? Wow, you got it again. <laughs> no, I am not. I like how the background is like seizure inducing. Oh, you'll get this. A wrestling channel. I don't know anything. This is sport is the sham. Who really cares? If a bomb blows up at a wrestling event, will anybody care? I wouldn't. Who's the wrestler that appeared in the last two Schwarzenegger films? I think it was Jesse Ventura. Yeah, that's it. Because it wasn't Andre the Giant. He was yeah. in uh, the Prince. Prince Princess of, Bride. Yeah. I get to pick, not you. Private Eyes. Are watching you. Great. So, I uh, at least this isn't like Jeopardy and everything where you have to type everything in. If Who's Debra Jr. used to star on TV's FBI, what private eyes is daughter Stephanie star in? I'm going to say Scarecrow and Mrs. King. But I am wrong. So it's, I don't know. Apparently it's Remington Steel. So there's another Remington Steel question, so there's at least two of them. Okay, right now I can just tell you that they needed to put more all in the family. Archie! I can't see under these sheets! Yeah, Edith, we're incognitus. <laughs> no! Okay. Crap, I... That's what you get for doing that. Little orphan Annie. Yeah, orphan Annie. Did you get the Dakota ring? Fudge! That's not what he says the Dakota ring for. Remember to drink your Ovaltine? Oh, dear God. If it's not the Honeymooners or Lucy uh, or Dick Van Dyke. Bleep Van Bleep. It's the Bleep Van Bleep Show. Starring Bleep Van Bleep. Oh, I know this one. I think. I'm gonna, I think I know it. Yep, Patty Duke, that's what I thought. <laughs> the remote, the best remote control contestants are usually the weirdest looking. Fuck you, yeah, you're, you're a little, little, little seizure inducing retard. I guess we're doing black and white TV again, because we've done all the things. No, we haven't. She Nothing really right. drank blood, that is. What was the name of Herman Munster's wife? Oh god, yes, I got it. Lily! Door, door, door! And in number nine. Oh, well, we're on nine. We are on. I think I just won. Okay. Oh. What happened? Hogan Zeros! I, I know nothing! Hogan! Durr. Let's stay with Hogan Zeros. Hogan! Are you still making that tunnel? See, we're old enough to know what this stuff is. I wonder if it'll talk about him getting, you know, killed by the porn people. 
Oh, how are you? I don't know, I pissed press the wrong button anyway. Because it's... You ran out of time. You're letting the retard computer get one. Go, Freddy, go! Huh, you're an idiot, because it's Corporal LeBeau! Shut up. If you can see us right now, it wouldn't be pretty. Well, I guess I get to control the board. So we're staying with Hogan's Heroes. Who played Sergeant Schultz, the rotund Doomkopf, who kept repeating, I see nothing, even though I know nothing? If you don't know it, I'm not telling you. It, it was John Banner. Werner Klimther was uh, Colonel Klink, and his father, Otto Klimpler, was a very, very well-known conductor. Yes, I know something. We're going something else. Let's go to... Oh, we're out anyway. Off the air. It's getting late in the game, and frankly, Freddy, you're not exactly blowing us away with your grasp of TV trivia. You're off the air. Did I just lose? No, Freddy did. Oh, okay. What the heck is ha What, uh... Ooh. You got bye-bye. Yeah. Another one bites the dust. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, lightning round. That that's think real fast. I'll give away the ending to a big movie. Your name, the film I've ruined. Okay. What? Gary Cooper ditches his badge. Where's that at? Ah, oh, you got it before me. Not die hard. Out of time. We didn't do very well. Oh god! Ah, lightning to the brain and dead. So what do I win? Because I'm the greatest. We have a winner. All those hours in front of the TV have paid off and given new meaning to your humdrum existence. Today I'm proud to be your video game host. Uh, you get re you get to replace the TV on the M. <sighs> That's it. No prizes. No babes. No money. No cars. That's it. Wow. Awesome. This, this has been Let's Play Remote Control with SaxCat20 and... Ahir21. Go away.